If you've got multiple lights on the exterior of your home controlled by different switches and you want them to all work together, I'm talking whether it be dust to dawn or on a schedule, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can make that happen in today's video. Coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and I just replaced the exterior lighting on my house with these three fixtures from Urban Ambiance. And here you can see the old and the new, one right in front of the other. I haven't replaced the other two yet, but the one by the door is done, and it is beautiful. What a big improvement. Now there's a switch by the front door that controls this one. And there's a switch way over here in the garage that controls those. Now, I guess you could consider it a feature that I can turn them on and off independently, but that's not what I want. I want them to be able to go on and off automatically by themselves. Now, how would you go about doing that? Now, this is my daughter's house. This is what we've been renovating in a series that I call The Living Flip. We have over 50 episodes on this house. And when we replaced the front door, we added another light on that side. And we wired it off of this one. And so that was normally controlled by a switch inside, but we wanted it to be dust to dawn. Now, the easiest solution is to just buy bulbs that have a daylight sensor built right into it. That's what that little red dot is. And so these go on, in theory, they go on when it gets dark and they go off when the sunlight comes up. Now, if you have a fancy fixture and you don't want just a plain old frosted bulb, they even have them that look like this. You know, these Edison type bulbs, these are also daylight sensing. And that's a really good price. They're about $4 a piece. Now, if you've got two lights that are wired from the same switch and you really want them to go on and off at the exact same time, you can do that by adding a photoelectric switch. And that's a little sensor that you can put on the light fixture itself. Now, to make it work on Julie's house, I just have two regular light fixtures, but I put a light sensor back here. And that light sensor is just wired in between the the blacks, the black wires. So the hot comes into it, and then from there, it feeds these two lights and they go on automatically when it gets dark. So dusk to dawn is, is easy because you can get bulbs that have light sensors in them. You can also put light sensors in the fixtures themselves, or you can buy light fixtures that have sensors in them already. But the problem is this, this fixture over here is under more of an overhang, so this will get dark before that one over here. So this will go on first. And well, for some of you, that might be okay. But for me, my OCD really wanted them to work together, like in unison, like one switch, they all go on. Now, a long time ago, they invented mechanical timers that you could replace your switches with, and you could set exactly what time of day you wanted them to go on and off. And that's fine, except for the fact that daylight changes every day, right? And as you're coming out of summer into the winter, you'd have to constantly change this to make it go on a little bit earlier every day. They got a little bit smarter, and they came up with digital smart timers like this one here, which is really cool because you set the exact time of day to the minute here and you can set multiple timers on this one. This has multiple program capability. Put it on and off exactly at the time of day that you want. But this one also has a feature where if you set what zone you're in, it knows your dusk and dawn times depending upon where you live and what time of year it is. So this changes every day and this switch is smart enough to know that it'll have it go on when dusk is in your area and off in the morning and uh, at dawn. So that's a really cool option. But these are about $27 a piece, which is not really cheap. If you've got Wi-Fi in your house, I think there's a better option, and that is with smart switches. This one is only $12.29 each. The, the benefit of this is that it's just a simple switch. You just click the button and it goes on and off, or it's Wi-Fi controlled, which means you can control it from a smartphone app, or you can control it with an Amazon Echo or Google Home if you want to control it by your voice. And it just gets wired in 
just to replace a switch like any other. The only difference is you do need a neutral wire and some of the older homes may not have neutral wires, but that's a consideration you'd have to look into. Now, if you're not comfortable doing any kind of electrical wiring, you could go the easiest route and that is to use smart bulbs. These bulbs are $27 for a three pack. They're really great because you can dim them, you can control them independently, or you can put them in a group so that they all go on and off at the same time. Or you can get a similar version, but these are actually considered RGBW. That means they've got red, green, and blue colored LEDs in them as well as the white LEDs and uh, I've tried these and these are really cool because they can either be set to a warm white all the way up to a daylight color and you can actually change the colors for holidays and things like that. The disadvantage is they're not that bright when you're putting them into color mode so they're better for an indoor situation than an outdoor situation. Plus with my new light fixtures I didn't really like the look of a frosted bulb, so I wanted something clear. Now it is possible to get clear smart bulbs if you want to. And they look like Edison bulbs or they look like they're shaped like regular bulbs, whatever. But I still like the idea of having the colors outside for the holidays. So I found one bulb that is actually a clear RGBW bulb. And that's this one here. This is from Fight Electric. And I purchased three of these and I put them in the front of my house. And the advantage of this is that these ribbons of color here, there's an awful lot more brightness coming from them when they're in color mode. And uh, I really think they're a great look for my home. Now the only downside to the one on the left is that the color is amber, which is kind of consistent with what are known as Edison bulbs. And uh, Amber is only 2100K compared to 2700K in a traditional soft white. So this is the red color on both of them. And you can see that the clear bulb obviously is much brighter. So I'm thinking that's gonna be better for the outside. Plus it's a prettier bulb for my, uh, my nice new lights. So that's why I decided to go with these. Now the frosted ones are about $10 a piece. You can get those in a multi-pack and the clear ones are about $22 a piece, and they're only sold individually. This is definitely a unique bulb meant to complement a pretty light fixture like mine. They're the only clear RGB smart bulb that I've yet to find, and they look awesome on my house decorated for Christmas. Okay, now what you can see here is I have the Fight Electric app open. I have all three of these bulbs identified, and I can control each one of them independently. That's the garage light, that's the front door light. Now what I've also done is I've taken all three of them and I've put them into a group called outside lights. And then I can just click that and they all go on together. And the cool thing about that is that I can also set up an automation. And you can see, I have it here that it goes on at sunset and off at sunrise. So I've accomplished dusk to dawn and they all work in unison the way I wanted them to. In addition, if I go into any of the colors, I can set the color the way that I want it to be, and then the schedule turns them off and on, but they stay the same color, which is awesome. They don't reset back to white. So that's one of the things that I really like about these bulbs. One other thing, so you know how I was complaining a little bit about the, the fact that the soft white the natural soft white on this is a little bit too amber for me. I did figure out how I could get it to look more soft white. I mean, it is an RGB bulb. It can do any color, really. So what I found is if I go into the color settings and I change it to yellow, but then I reduce the saturation to 80%. There. That approximates the soft white bulbs that I had up here before. So it's a clear bulb, but now it looks soft white. And I can even make it look daylight if I wanted to. Yay me. So let's recap. I've shown you how to use light sensors for dusk to dawn operation. I've shown you how to use smart switches. And I've also shown you how to use smart bulbs to accomplish the same thing. Different price points, different features. What do you like the best? Leave me a comment below if you've used any of these solutions in your home. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up 
and I will see you in the next one. If you are a DIY video creator struggling to find an audience, join Handy Dad TV and get instant access to an established audience that will provide more views and income than you're getting on your own. Just go to handydad.tv join for more information.